This one's out to center field and hit well. Trout going back at the warning track at the wall. Leaps up. He's got it. Like that, baby. Up is Mike Trout. Has done it again. When I was 21. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Angel in the Outfield. This is episode number 16 and in the last one we ended up getting three new upgrades to the team, almost having a complete team of golds and then we get to move on to the diamond stage which is going to be the fun part. So you guys left a ton of comments, you guys offered a ton of suggestions on which players we should be picking up, which players we should be using for our upgrades. So let's go over the ones that were the most highly requested and the ones that made the cut. So the first card that we chose for our upgrade was Breakout Oliver Perez from the 2004 season. This guy is available on the market. We picked him up because you guys really wanted him. It was either between him or John Lester. I saw a lot of votes between the two, but Oliver Perez did get the spot over John Lester. Not by much, but it was a pretty close little battle. But anyway, he's got a four seam, a slider, a changeup, and a curveball. Pretty basic pitch selection, but he's got 92 break with 88 and 92 hits in Ks for nine. And the thing about this guy is that his release point is extremely deceptive, especially to righties because it's coming in at a really weird angle. I've faced this card a lot of times and every time I don't do well against him. So the fact that I'm gonna be able to use him as long as the game randomly picks him, but he's gonna be a definite beast replacing Gio Gonzalez, who was actually a pretty good guy for us in our rotation. Next up, we got a bullpen arm coming at you. We got 89 postseason Nolan Ryan from the New York Mets. He's got a four seam, a curveball, and a two seam. 96-95 on the hits and Ks, 99-95 on the velo and the break. So overall, this guy has got insanely good stats. This is one of the early Nolan Ryans, the one where he was actually in the bullpen, so this is not one of the starting pitches ones. The only thing that's not too ideal about this card is that he has two fastballs and a curveball, nothing else, no changeup, no slider, nothing else, just two fastballs and a curveball. So you have to really spot your pitches to be effective with this card. So we got one more upgrade and you guys really hashed it out in the comments on who you think it should have been. It is a bullpen guy. It is a right-handed arm and just beating out gold Pat Neshek, Joaquin Soria came away with the victory in the comments. 89 overall gold. He's got a cutter, a four seam, a change up, a slider, and a curveball. 84, 84 hits in case per nine. 69 velo with 92 break. Excellent card right here. I've used him a lot in regular Diamond Dynasty for ranked seasons. Always consistent for me, a pretty good beast. He's just got like a really good change up and so many other pitches that could be mixed in. I really like this guy. He's got 92 break with all of those breaking pitches. So really good guy to have. So that means that our one silver spot that remains for this game is Araldis Chapman. We have to try and get an upgrade this game to get rid of 82 overall Araldis Chapman and replace him with a gold left-handed pitcher. So hopefully we at least get one upgrade in this next game. Also, I did a little poll in the last video asking you guys on how you want me to approach the diamond progression for this team if you want me to do it in two tiers or one tier. You guys did say that you would rather see two tiers of diamonds, so 90 to 94 and then 95 to 99 just so we can keep this series going. But like I said, that will probably mean that there will be longer breaks of duration between this series and between each episode, just so I have time to grind the game a little bit, get the stubs I need so I can, you know, get the guys for the team. There's probably going to be some guys when we get to the 99 stage that I'm just pretty much not going to get. So we'll have to kind of make do with what we have just being honest. But anyway guys, before we get into the gameplay, I do gotta give a quick shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. If you're unaware of what SeatGeek is, it is an app where you can buy tickets to concerts and sporting events, all that good stuff. And what it does is it shows a map of the seating chart that you, of the event that you're going to, and it has the deals listed as green for good, red for bad. So you wanna make sure you're trying to get those green deals. So it's really user friendly by making sure you don't get ripped off. So if you guys wanna go to a game or anything like that and you use SeatGeek, make sure you Use my code COOGS at checkout and you will save $20 off your first order. So thank you again to SeatGeek for sponsoring the video. Okay, boys, here we go. We're taking on United States Team USA. So he's got the 92 John Lester, which we'll be taking on. He's got George Springer, Didi, Justin Turner, Justin Morneau, the new one, Chuck Nasty, Lindor, the gold postseason Michael Taylor, and the player of the month, Gary Sanchez. So I like our team and we've got James Paxton going for us. All right, here we go, boys. Let's get it. <laughs> 
Okay, we've got two strikes to Springer right here. Hit him with a change up low. Swing over the top. Hey, his timing is totally off on that one quick out. There we go. Got a nice little ground ball over Rizzo. Didi's not going to do any damage. Two down in the first. Now we've got Justin Turner to deal with. You guys don't know how many times in my stream I get tips, or I get asked, do you have any tips for the Justin Turner part of the George Springer program? It's like, bro, I don't even have this card yet. I do not have any tips for you. But there we go. Mike Trout getting his first fielding opportunity and making it work. That's the end of the first. Let's go score. Okay, we've got Jake Lamb leading off. Luckily, we have a lefty on the mound here, and my team is mainly righties, and that actually might be caught. Wow! Was that Michael Taylor? That was the greatest catch ever. Hold on. Dude, this man ran so far for this ball and then put out... I'm... Yo, just... I can't, you can't be mad about that. That's insane. J.D. Martinez. Hey, I'd like to see you catch that one, Michael Taylor. All right, so we got a one-out hit that puts a runner on base for Mike Trout. It's his turn to make something happen right here. Let's go, Trout. Two-run home run. That gives us two upgrades off the rip. Come on. Come on. Ooh, ah, uh, yeah. That's a tough sinker to, to hit on first pitch. But here we go. 0-1 count. Runner on first. Slide step. Ah, that's a pitch that I want. I can't strike out right here. I don't want to take a downgrade. That's not good if I do that. But that... Is that... Yo, stay fair. Oh, my God. That was actually extremely close to being a fair ball. Come on, Trout. Uh, that might get off the wall, though. That might get off the wall. It's a two-run home run. That was some cheese. I honestly did not think that was going to be a home run. I didn't even know if that was going to be, like, in the... Mike Trout, that's two upgrades right off the rip. A home run, two RBIs. This man's insane. Come on, come on. Ah, that's his first hit of the game. Justin Morneau taking a pitch that should have been on the outside corner. Looks like he caught a little bit too much of the plate. And he's going to have one guy on. It's all good, though. We got another lefty at the plate right now with Charlie Blackman. And Rizzo's... No, throw to... Ah, I don't have throw canceling on. Dang it. Tried to turn two, but I didn't expect him to tag. Do have to be careful with Charlie Blackman over there. He does have 79 speed. Yeah, he was trying to run on that pitch. I was even a little late on the thing. Yo, tag him. Tag him. Tag him, Rizzo. Just throw there. If he wants to keep running, go. Here, let's try and get him in a pickle. Aha! Gotcha! You terrible at base running. Oh, okay. Then we end up hitting Francisco Lindor on the next pitch. Oh, my God. That's terrible, man. That's just bad. We can't be doing that. Let's go, Paxton. Bear down right here. Michael Taylor looking inside, pulling the ball. Get that ground ball. Nice. Good catch. Let's go, Trevor Story. Good second inning. He did get a hit, but no runs, no damage. Ground ball to the left side. Mike Napoli might actually be getting a little bit of an infield base hit. It did go to the outfield grass, but it didn't get past our shortstop over there. So there we go. Mike Napoli leading off the second with a hit. Trevor Story. Oh, my God. That is insanely hit. Oh, wow. Trevor Story's got such good power against lefties with that card, with that postseason card. And that thing was long gone from the second it left the bat. 4 nothing lead in the second. Chris Taylor, yo, that might, that might be gone. That might be gone. That's back-to-back. -back. That's five runs. That is another upgrade. Oh! Oh, then he just hit James Paxton, bro. Don't be such a crybaby, dude. Stop leaving pitches over the middle, and then you wouldn't be losing like this. Here we go, dudes. Bottom of the second, two outs. Runner in scoring position for Mike Trout. I really hope he doesn't intentionally walk him right here. Come on. Pitch to him, bro. He might even hit him right here. This guy's kind of pissed. Nope, he's actually throwing to him. All right. Questionable decision with first base opening Rizzo up next, a lefty. I don't know if I'd be pitching to him right here, but he does have him down to two strikes. Can't really strike out. That would not be good to get a downgrade in this area of the game. But it's a base hit up the middle. 30 speed. I don't care if you have one speed or not. That is going to be a run, and that is our sixth run of the game. Trout has two hits now. That's another upgrade. Boys, we are racking up the upgrades today. We're going to try to steal base right here. You know John Lester doesn't hold the guys on. Yep, that's an easy steal. Great read. And Mike Trout gets a stolen base. Another upgrade. So just saying, since we now have our uh, our full team of golds pretty much, especially in the uh, lineup portion of the team, 
I think I'm going to move the uh, number of runs for an upgrade to six instead of five. Or maybe even seven. Let me guys, let me know, do you guys think I should do six runs or seven runs as far as an upgrade? Because scoring five with a gold team isn't really that, you know, that impressive. It's not like it's a bronze team still. So I think we'll go ahead and move it up to either six or seven. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments. Or actually, even better, just like last time, there's going to be a poll in the top right of the video. Go vote on it there if you think I should increase the rate of how many runs deserves an upgrade. Down to two strikes for Cruz. That's a fastball right down the middle, and we took it right up the middle. Oh, we got him to rage quit. Oh, this man could not take it anymore. And we got the rage quit, which is another upgrade, and then the win is... Okay, we got way too many upgrades this episode. All right, boys, so for this episode, we are going to have a lot of upgrades, and I definitely think we need to make it so that our upgrades are harder in the next episodes to come. So, Mike Trout, or let's start off the basics. We won the game, that's an upgrade. Scored five runs, that's an upgrade. Got a rage quit. That's an upgrade. We already have three, and we haven't even looked at Trout stats. So Mike Trout got two hits. That's an upgrade. He got two or more RBIs. That's an upgrade. He got a stolen base. That's an upgrade. Six upgrades in this episode. Wow. So the fact that we got six upgrades tells me that I have an all gold team and like I need to try and get this to be a little bit more challenging. Otherwise, it's just kind of annoying. But anyway, here is a look at the team. So you guys can see my starting rotation right here. DeGrom, Paxton, Darvish, Stroman, Perez. Here's my lineup. Lamb, Martinez, Trout, Rizzo, Cruz, Napoli, Story, Taylor. And then my bench, of course, don't worry about that. We're just going to replace the silvers with the gold. You know what I'm saying? And then our bullpen, we got Soria, Osuna, Nolan Ryan, Felipe Rivero, Araldis Chapman, Sean Doolittle, Dell and Batances. So before you guys start commenting what your upgrades are, remember that this silver Araldis Chapman has to be one of the upgrades. It has to be upgraded to a gold card. Or technically, if you guys want a diamond, a left-handed reliever, we could use that as two upgrades, but I think that's a little bit too confusing. So let's just go ahead and upgrade to a gold lefty, and then you guys have five diamond upgrades to play around with. And remember, these diamonds have to be 90 to 94 overall. Also remember, depending on what you guys want to see for the upgrades, the next video might not be out for maybe another week to a week and a half, just so I can, you know, pick up all the guys that you want to see so keep that in mind when you're asking when the next angel in the outfield video is so yeah guys that is what's happened in this video once again it's a little bit too easy right now for me to make these upgrades so i've got to kind of knock up the difficulty of this series a little bit just to make it interesting man because if you get five or six upgrades a game this series is literally going to end in two seconds so i don't want that to happen i want to definitely keep it moving and keep it like you know just keep progressing it but anyway guys let me know who you think i should be picking up down in the comments of this video make sure to also drop a like on it i would be greatly appreciative if you did that if you want to see more mlb content not just angel in the outfield and you want to see mlb the show battle royale events streams more ranked seasons whatever it is mlb 18 news hit that subscribe button join the cougars join the team so you don't miss a thing but that's gonna do it for me guys i hope you have a great rest of your day i will see you in the next video peace out